Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the INT Podcast. I'm Isaiah. This is my friend Tyler. And today we're doing our Week 10 predictions. A day late, though. Yep. That's why the Dolphins-Ravens game has already happened. Mm-hmm. All right. But, no, I actually am going to predict on this game. I think the Dolphins are going to win 22-10. That's cap. I think the Ravens, Ravens are going to blow out the Dolphins this game. That's what we would be saying if we recorded this yesterday, but you know. Yeah. We'll talk about that game in our Week 10 recap, but let's get into the predictions. Titan Saints is our one of our 1 o'clock games. Tennessee is on a hot streak coming off a big win against L.A. And New Orleans coming back and then choking against the Falcons. How, how do you feel about this game? Yeah, I mean, the Saints coming off a rough, rough loss against the Falcons, a game they probably should have won. So, I mean, this game, I, I think it'll be solid, but I don't think the Saints are going to win this game, especially with how hot Tennessee's been, even without De- Derrick Henry. I know, imagine if they still had Derrick Henry. Oh, yeah. That would be, they, they are looking scary. So what do you think about this game? I think the Titans are going to pull it off. The Saints are really inconsistent this season, so for all we know, they could blow out the Titans by 30 points this week. Yeah. All right. No, I'm calling it this game. is either going to be a close game, Titans are going to win, or the Saints are going to blow out the Titans. That's just how it is. Really? What? Wow. All right. Bills, Jets. Well, as we learned from last week, anything can happen. Yeah, I know. Bills... Lost the Jaguars. That's a rough loss for them. But uh, Bills, I think Bills is a good team. I just don't know what happened last week. That offense didn't do nearly as well as what they've been performing uh, lately. So I'm Josh Allen's gonna have to really step it up this game, which I do think he will. I mean, it's the Jets we're the talking Jets about. Defense is really bad. Yeah, I, I look for a rebound game for the Bills offense. Who's starting at QB? Is it Mike White this game? Uh. I- believe so I, i'm not sure if there is an update on his injury or not but i think he will it be sorry matter, honestly the bills have the best defense in the league honestly yep so i don't think i don't think it should it, i don't think it should be much of a surprise actually when the bills beat the jets yeah lion steelers i'm gonna say the lions are gonna surprise people but they're not gonna win this game they're gonna keep it close Steelers are a fraudulent five and four. What are they? What are they? Five and four, five and three. Yeah, they five are and a four. Fraudulent five and three team. Or five and three. They are not as good as the record says. They're gonna go to six and three after this game, game. But they are not as good as six and three says. Yeah, I agree. I think the Steelers aren't that good of a team, but at the same time, we're talking about the winless Lions here. So exactly. Honestly, any bad team should at least stand a chance against the Lions. So, I mean, I, I think the Steelers, they're, they're going to win this game. I think it'll be sort of close. I don't know. They might blow out the Lions. We'll see. But I think the Steelers are going to win this game. Jags, Colts. The Colts' offense has kind of found their groove recently. They dropped 45 on the Jets last week. Jonathan Taylor has been looking fantastic this season. And, yes, the Jags had that great win. But with that type of offensive inconsistency they had last week, you just can't continue to win games like that. So I am going to take the Colts at home. Yeah, I agree. I, I think the Colts are going to win this game. Uh, but the Colts, I, I mean, they, they came off a solid win. Uh, Jonathan Taylor's really stepped it up this year. And even Naheem Himes hasn't looked terrible either. So they got a solid running back duo there in Indianapolis. Well, it'll be interesting to see how Pittman does his game. He's been really stepping it up late in the year. Taylor Heineke's revenge game. He came in his first ever. He came in. He came in on a playoff game, like kind of last second, and really looked good against Tampa Bay's defense last season. Granted, this is a much worse Washington football team we're seeing against a Tampa Bay team that is about the same team that we saw last season. There's no reason for me not to pick the Bucks to win this game. Yeah, I, I agree. The Bucks, they that offense has been killing it um this year and that defense is still solid from last year and so I think Tom Brady's gonna pull it out and win this game. We got one of the better games of the week, Browns Patriots. This is gonna be a close game. 
Bill Belichick knows that he could take first place in the in the AFC East. He's got contention for it. What is it? What is the AFC East looking like right now? Five and three Bills and five and four Patriots fighting for the one spot. The Patriots have sneakily looked good these past few weeks. Their defense has looked great. Great. I am going to take the Browns because the Patriots have struggled at home this season. Actually, no, I'm going to take the Patriots. I don't know what it is about this game. I just feel like the Patriots are going to win. I know you're not going to like that pick. Well, yeah, you guys are going to be surprised by my pick this game. But um, the way the Browns have been playing recently and the Patriots, how great they've been doing recently. And the, the Browns, they've been kind of rough. Uh, so I'm no actually, Nick Chubb. No Nick Chubb. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm actually going to be taking the Patriots wow. to lose. To lose because the Browns are going to win and we're going to win out the rest of the year. And Nick Chubb's going to come back healthy and he's going to get uh, Baker Mayfield MVP. There you go. <laughs> Maybe not that far, but yeah, I can see the Browns winning this game. Okay. Yep. Also, we're doing this new thing where we're going to pick a game at the end of the podcast and we're going to bet on it. Loser has to read a 10 slide PowerPoint made by the other person. So tune in to the end to see who what game we decide to bet on. It could be this one. Okay. Yeah. Here's what are more fun games this week. I'm using fun kind of big. But Cowboys Falcons. Falcons coming off a big win against a divisional rival on the road, and Cowboys coming off a big loss. But I think the Cowboys will rebound this game. They need to re- rebound. The Saints can only keep doing what they're doing for so long, and I just think Cowboys' offense is going to rebound, the defense is going to rebound, and they're going to win this game. Yeah, I feel like the Cowboys, I mean, they they had a bad game last week against the Vikings, but, um, but I mean, I mean, Cowboys' that offense is still really good, and I know Dak Prescott coming back and taking that loss is kind of rough, but I, I mean... I still think that the Cowboys are going to win this game. Team still. Yeah, they're a great team still, so give me the Cowboys. Panthers, Cardinals. Speaking of Panthers, who's the starting QB this game? Can, um, PJ Walker. What? Cam Newton? PJ Walker. Cam Newton? PJ Walker. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give it a second, give it a second. I actually want to know who the starting quarterback for this game is. I thought it was P.J. Walker. Hold on. P.J. No, it's not. No way they go out and sign Cam. Yep. P.J. Walker to start Sunday. Matt versus- Rule, yep. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Well, That's a- I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard the news that Cam Newton has been signed by his former team, he won't be stuck. But the, the the main thing is, is he needs to go in for a week, just like a lot of players who get signed in the off season will start for the team when it has, because they have time to learn the playbook, to learn all these plays and everything. You gotta think, Cam Newton is going in and to a new team, even though it was his old team. He's going into a new team, probably likely with a different playbook, and he has to learn all that in probably like less than a few days just because he has to fly over there and practice and everything. So I, I can see why they're not going to start him right away. He doesn't even know the playbook yet. So Okay, yeah, I can do that. Okay. Oh, we never even said who were going to win this game. We were about to skip over it. I'm going to take the Cardinals. The Cardinals are a really good team. I think we know that. They stomped the 49ers without Kyler, without D-Hop. I think they're getting those guys back. So I think the Cardinals are going to beat the Panthers. Yeah, I agree. The Cardinals are a great team this year. Uh, them and the Rams in their division, which we'll talk about some interesting moves over there. But, yeah, the Cardinals, they're a great team. I, I think they're going to win this game. All right, Chargers-Vikings. Another game that is going to be really good. The Vikings, one of their biggest problems has been finishing games. We can agree on that, right? Yeah. They, they'll play close games against good teams, but then when it comes to just – Get that final finish. They cannot. And Mike Zimmer is a really bad coach. I think we he's getting exposed this season. He has been so incompetent when it comes to clutching out the game. Against the Ravens, he was literally going for the tie. It's just, I don't like the Vikings in terms of their... T- I love the talent, just their coaching is holding them back. So, 
And all that said, I am going to take the Chargers here to win the game. Yeah, you're going to be surprised here. I'm actually going to be taking the Vikings to win this game. I think that the offense is still really good. I mean, and if we that, know that. We know their offense is good. If that defense can just be serviceable and coaching just do all right, I think that they definitely have a real legit chance to win this game, and that's what I think is going to happen. So give me the Vikings. Russ is back. A Seahawks fan, you happy? You happy? And then you wonder who Russ comes back to? He goes back and plays Aaron Rodgers. What do you mean Geno Smith's going to be starting over? Obviously. My bad. Russ is a backup. <laughs> yeah, Russ actually got benched for Geno Smith. That one win against the Jaguars really changed Pete Carroll's motive on Russell Wilson right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, that whole series. I think this game's going to be high scoring. It's going to be a fun game. But the Packers. Wait, who are this? Oh, Packers. Okay. The Packers are probably the best team in the league. Yeah, uh, you can definitely make a case for that. Between them, probably the Cardinals and the Rams, and maybe the Bills, I don't know. That, the that's Bills debatable. have been questionable these past few weeks, though. So. Yeah, but um, you can make a case for that. But the Packers, yeah, they've been on a roll recently, even without Aaron Rodgers. They, they had a bad game, but, I mean, uh, Aaron Rodgers is going to be back, and he is Aaron Rodgers. He's yeah. Def he's making a case for MVP, honestly, right now, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, Aaron Rodgers is really good, and the Packers' offense is also really good. Uh, give me the Packers this to win. It's kind this of game. a must-win game for Seattle, honestly. But I am going to take the Packers. What is Seattle Especially standing at right now? Seattle is standing at an uncomfortable three and five. If they lose this game, they'll fall to three and six. Wow. That's just not something as an NFL fan that you want to see, especially when your team. You know, there are a few of those games where you guys could have easily have won if you had Russ. <clears throat> All right. Up next, we got the Broncos and the Eagles. The Eagles, a team with awful coaching and awful organization. They're always they, – they have no faith in their quarterback, and I have no faith in them winning this game. Give me the Broncos. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is actually probably my first week – besides the first three weeks that I'll actually go be taking the Broncos to win this game. Uh, I feel like that the Broncos, they, they came off a solid win against the Cowboys last week. And I, I see that offense continuing the pace it's at. And I'm kind of starting Javante Williams this week, so I hope he goes off. But, yeah, give me the Broncos. <laughs> um, we got the game of the week right here. Chiefs Raiders, a battle for the AFC West on Sunday night football. Oh, will this be a good game? I, I, I'm, if, actually, if, I'm, act I'm really excited for this game. If you would tell me this would be game of the week at the beginning of the year, Especially since Seahawks-Packers is one of the games. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the, the Chiefs, they've been rough this year. Definitely not like their past two years, so. Um, but the Raiders are coming off that loss against the against the Giants, and just the off-the-field issues are just piling up for them. It's going to be I saw a meme, and it was like, um, uh, can we congratulate the Raiders? And it was a four days without an incident board. Oh, let's go, Vegas! Uh, okay. Um, yeah. I just think the Raiders is going to continue. This is t the time of the year where the Raiders start to collapse. We all know this. The Raiders aren't going to consistently play this well. They start to collapse around this time of the year. They did it last year. They did it the year before. And I think Kansas City is going to put that nail in the coffin. They are going to win this game and regain first place in the AFC West. Yeah, this is, I, I feel like this is a revenge game from last year when the Raiders beat the Chiefs, and I think the Chiefs will win this game. Uh, hot take, I think it will be in blowout fashion. Really? Yep, I, I think like the Chiefs... Time we call, I feel like last time we called a rivalry game to be a blowout, it went the other way for a blowout. Hmm, I wonder what game that one was. <laughs> Bengals, <laughs> Ravens. But I, I think Mahomes in that offense, I feel like they are going to be stepping it up this game, and... Let's see if it'll be true. Okay. For our final game on Monday Night Football, we got the 49ers and the Rams. But speaking of the Rams, you want to you want to share the news? Yeah. Okay. So, did we talk about Von Miller? Yeah, we talked about Von Miller last week. Yeah, Von Miller to the Rams. Uh, okay. So, here's the big news coming out of Los Angeles. They have signed Odell Beck. Okay, we had a bit of an interruption. You could just continue the news that we were about to tell. 
All right, so the Rams have signed OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr., to a one-year deal, which is crazy considering they don't have much cap space. What's cap space? What's the future? What now? Uh, yeah, so they are kind of in a win-now situation. They have the pieces. They have Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Matthew, uh, Matthew Stafford, Stafford, Cooper Cup, OBJ, Robert Woods, Daryl Henderson. They got the pieces. They are in a win-now situation. If they don't win the Super Bowl or at least – like go to deep into a playoff run and this year. They made the Super Bowl with Jared Goff. If they don't make yeah. the Super Bowl with a better roster and a better QB, way better roster. What? Way better roster. And they have a better QB. Yeah. If so. Like they could take Jared Goff there, then I fully believe he that this team, they are going to make they're going to make a deep playoff run. And the Niners. Yeah. Have now not situation. been that team. Everyone, everyone was hyping them up that they were gonna be back. They were gonna be that team, team after the after the injury after the injuries that affected them last season. They're gonna come back, bounce back. But Kyle Shanahan, I'm gonna say it. He's a bit of a fraud head coach. He's got a worse yeah. record than Matt Nagy. Really? Yeah, he's got a worse. He had that one Super Bowl season. Everyone's treating him like he's this amazing coach. He really isn't that great though. And for all those reasons, and with offensive inconsistencies, defensive inconsistency, the Rams are one of the best teams in the league. I am going to take the Rams. Yeah, I agree. I think that the Rams will win this game. Um, that that team is just – they're a really good team. And they are definitely Super Bowl contenders, I would say, at this point in the year. So, yeah. interesting to see how they will continue that. All right. So, coming down, we, we disagreed on two games. Browns, Patriots, and Vikings, Chargers. Yep. Two games that we did not agree on. Which one do you want to bet on? Vikings, Chargers, because I hate rooting. I would hate rooting for the Patriots. All right. Okay. So if the Vikings win, I have to read a ten slide PowerPoint made by Tyler on Thursday's episode. Yeah. I know this video's coming out on Friday. We're 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 a little late. We were busy this week. But if the Chargers win, then then I get to make a ten slide PowerPoint. Mm hmm Okay. Well, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, peace.